I'm going to walk closer to the mic. I may even hold this like this because it doesn't seem particularly human to be standing there like this. I participated in the first tea parties uh, back on tax day on April 15th. Yeah. yeah. And we, know, we knew what, what was we? coming. What did we? we knew that you couldn't balance budgets by spending trillions of dollars on ungodly crap. Yeah. We were yeah. what Malcolm Gladwell calls the early adopters. Then I started to be a part of the, the, the town hall experience. And they started to yeah. attack us again. I wore this Brooks Brothers jacket in honor of Barbara Boxer. <laughs> and the DNC and Robert Gibbs and the rest of the people who live on talking points and haven't had an original thought in a generation. Before I begin my tirade on the American mainstream media, I would like to bring up Adrian Guillory. Come on up here. Adrian, I, I, I'm under the impression that MSNBC is about to break into our coverage here, and I want you to take this snapshot so you can use Photoshop to cut off his head, put a gun in my hand, and call us a bunch of racists. And you know who's going to do that? Contessa Brewer, you're such a pretty, pretty face. How dare you call these God-loving Americans racist? I don't know, using them as a prop or something. I'm sorry. Kevin Jackson, come on up here too. The next few years are going to be interesting, folks, because I was just called a racist yesterday because of the Acorn scandal for exposing raw corruption. Raw meat exposed. Upton yeah. Sinclair, eat your heart out. media have any idea how thin that gruel is getting? Thank you very much, sir.